Yeah, so it could have been triggered from another person for him to do it, not him actually be doing it. And the distraction. You know, get off the phone because I need you to make pizza. Um, don't call her back because I need you to do this. Uh, it might not be in those actual words, but that's what it is. Like, you're sitting there texting him when you're with him all the time. So you have no time for yourself or time to do other things for yourself or time to have a girlfriend or time to even spend time with other people. Like, doesn't even need to be a commitment. I never was looking for an actual commitment. I was confused of what we were. And I didn't need a title. I just needed to know what the fuck I was doing, how I was supposed to be acting. Because if we're this way, then I'm gonna act a certain type of way. But if we're that way, I'm gonna act a different type of way. So it's like, I did not know how to act. So that's kind of why I, hate saying it, chased him. It was more like I needed to know what I was supposed to do and I didn't know. So I was going to somebody that fucking did not know as well. <laughs> but I learned. So, you know, he's like, no, I got to talk to him. It's about work. Da, da, da. And it's, my person is an al alcoholic, is a workaholic. So... All he does is work to get away from his problems, especially me, because um, he doesn't want to give in. And it's because not only does he know that once he gives in, everything changes. He's not going to have the same life ever again, but he also is scared to change. And he also, you know, has a lot of trauma and, you know, doesn't feel safe, like letting a person in that he knows he's going to fall for fucking like that. But I will, too. I know I will. Um, I know I would. Because I already was there at one point, but I had to detach myself so I would not be there anymore so I can do this and not be around him and not talk to him. Because after the incident happened, the last time, I haven't talked to him. And then my fucking nice ass, yeah, I do, but that's not what I was trying to say. My niceness, kindness, compassion for him. There's like two things that are going on that are pending for him. And I am going to say it after because I need to. Um, what was... Oh, I'm not going to say one of them though. Um, but I had all the information that he needed for it that could help him if he needed it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so... I would usually do voice clips because they're longer and I don't have to blow your fucking phone up. And it looks like I'm fucking after you and I'm like blowing your phone up because you're not answering your motherfucking phone. One, two, I'm blocked. So you're not even knowing unless you're checking or if I leave a voicemail. But like I always used to tell him like, you don't have to answer me right away. I don't give a flying fuck. I'm just going to put it out there, whatever it is I need to say, because that's how I am. But you don't need to answer me. Like, if you're at work and I text you, I don't, I do not expect, like, I'm not that girl. And it's like, I feel like he does not know that. Like, not all girls are the same, but I also fucked up and thought all guys were the same and kind of put narcissist fucking projection onto him. But then it actually came out. But I kind of manifested it to come out because I had my own fucking issues and I had my own fucking trauma and I had my own fucking beliefs and whatever. But I what? Oh, look how pretty. But I worked through them. I did the work. He didn't because he didn't want change, you know, because change is scary. And when you're used to having routine as your safety go to or just so you feel safe and and in control of things, and when you feel off balance because you feel a certain type of feeling that you don't understand, which could be about another person or love or whatever, but when you don't know what real love looks like, or you never actually have been in true love, not just a love that you thought was love, but then you find out, no, it wasn't, because <laughs> that's how I was with him. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, I was doing... I was doing random things and I did not fucking understand why I was doing them. So weird. Like, I remember when I first met him in the beginning, like, 
I went to go jump. I went to go give him a hug, but I was running towards him. And I jumped on him and wrapped my legs around him and put my head on his shoulder. But it's not something I would normally do, especially with him because I was scared of him. Because he was too good to be true. And I didn't want to get hurt. And the whole narcissist thing happened before that, I think. Or after. That could have been why I was like that. I don't know. But um, either way, I would question him all the time. I'd be like, why did I do that? Why did I do that? And then, like, when I was going to break up, stop talking or what? That's probably what it was. When I was going to stop talking to him, I went back and forth because I'm a fearful, avoidant fucking attachment style. But since I kind of forgot about that, I didn't heal that stuff. And he is a dismissive avoidant, which is fucking horrible because they stonewall you. They ignore you. They don't talk to you. And it's easy for them because that's how they deal with their shit. You know, but I didn't know that. I thought he was being a narcissist. So I'm all like not even looking at it from, oh, you know, he could have gone through something and this is how he copes. I mean, I did. I actually really did. I did think that um, and I did express it and I would leave him messages after messages after messages to be like a therapist to be there for him because I wanted him to see that true love is real. You know what I mean? Because I knew he fell in love with me. I knew it from the, the minute I met him. Like, I knew it. But, like, I remember when I was like, okay, I can't talk to you anymore. And I was using the excuse that I was pregnant. And I was using the excuse of, was I using the excuse of using another guy? But I wasn't even in a relationship with him. And he actually had a girlfriend. So, <laughs> none of it was true. Um. But I was also very confused and that indecisive, is it safe for me to go and give myself all to this person without knowing a lot and trusting the process or should I just bounce in, but not because of him or he is not worthy. It was because I thought I was not worthy of what he was giving me and it was freaking me the fuck out. Because it's like, if you keep giving me this and then you fucking leave me, one, I already have abandonment issues. Two, I'm a fearful avoidant. Three, I have bipolar. Four, I'm a Gemini. Five, I'm a twin flame. And six, I've been, I have BPD fucking symptoms. But that's all bullshit anyways. It really is. It's, it's, all, it's all bullshit. It's just, and I'll talk about that another day. But it's like, it's a band-aid. Medication is a band-aid for you to have to heal your shit. Pretty much. Um, Cause I could get off of my medication my medication, but my body is codependent on it. And that's the only reason why I haven't, because I don't want to go I don't I don't I don't have to I don't feel like going through withdrawals. I don't feel like doing all that. I don't like, you know, just fucking I don't want to take them because and it's embarrassing to have to say, like, I I need pills, but I don't need pills. That's the thing. If Even without them, I would still be stable. The only reason why I wouldn't is if I was, if I was um, withdrawing from them. That'd be the only, only, only reason. And I know that because I've done it. Because there's been times where Bethany has been like, I don't need my medication. I'm good. I'm just going to manifest myself to not need it anymore. So I threw my whole entire script of something in my trash with my fucking crank to make cigarettes like the old-fashioned like crank like the metal so bethany can also quit smoking altogether when she has a crank <sighs> so bad and then i'm calling you know my doctor over the weekend telling them how i want to kill myself <laughs> I'm going so crazy with withdrawals and I never would I would never kill myself I don't care how I feel and I don't care if I said I would kill myself I mean my friends know this all the time like if either one of us are like I want to kill myself it's just kind of like I just wish I wasn't here right now or I like 
the other one knows like they don't have to worry about it like you're not gonna actually I know that if I really was gonna want to kill myself I would tell my friend like no 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 like I really 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 want to and then I and I know she would do the same thing with me um but we both know we wouldn't and I definitely wouldn't for fucking Dawson I was just trying to figure out or heal from whatever it was that I needed to heal from to not feel like I wanted to kill myself anymore but I never actually I mean I tried to when I was 12, but it's like, I never have done anything like that, actually. But this is where oh, I can actually come into... Cool! Hold on a second. My CapCut has not been putting long videos together, and it's really pissing me off, so... Whatever. So, we need to... No. What was I saying? Yeah, so this person, when I met my person, I met him at a gas station. I had never been to this gas station the entire 36 years that I, yeah, I'm 36, don't I look good for it. <laughs> I'm actually glad about saying that I'm 36 now because people are like, what? And I'm like, right? Like, it's actually exciting, but I used to hate it. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not conceited. I was being, I was kidding, but it is true. Um, <laughs> My mom's ex-boyfriend asked her the other day, is Bethany still drop-dead gorgeous? And he hasn't seen me in fucking since I was, like, still in school. No, Dawson was young. Dawson was, like, two or something or three or four. So, like, ten years ago. And my mom's like, yeah, she actually gets better with age. I'm like, I actually really do. It's true. It's crazy. Um, it's awesome, though. But anyways, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I'd never been at this fucking gas station. It looked grimy. Just didn't... Didn't look like a normal gas station. So I just never went. One day, I randomly went there. Don't know why. I walk in. He's right there. His face is all, you know, whatever. His little dimple. And I love his dimple. And it represents me loving his dimple so much. Because that means he's happy. Because he's smiling. And, like... When he talks, it will come out because, like, you know, it's, like, going like that. So, like, it kind of has to. But when he smiles, like, it really comes out. And I love his dimple. But anyways, love his dimple. Like, even if I'm hitting on him and I'm talking dirty to him, I still <laughs> will mention his dimple. <laughs> it turns me on. I don't know. It's cute because it means he's happy. And it's with me. Do you fucking see his dimple or appreciate his dimple? Fuck you, kid. <laughs> Anyways, and it sucks because I'm really not a mean person. So it's like if they cared about his cousin or his brother, there was one time he was like, oh, I can't pick up my phone. My sister's calling me and I'm not, I, she can't know that I'm here. Or she doesn't want me to be around you. And I'm like, how old are you? Like, fuck your sister. And I'm sorry. I don't mean it like that. I'm really not a bitch. Like, I hate to be saying this shit right now, but it's, like, it's actually for, like, a learning reason. So I'm using it. Um, and I'm not expecting anybody to be watching this that is part of this whole thing. So, <laughs> like, whatever. Um, so anyways, so his cousin would see me bring him dinner. Um, like, I'd make dinner, and if I had leftovers, I would bring it to him. Um, and he would act weird about that. And his cousin would be, like, right behind him. I don't know. Um, or, yeah. And I have, I actually have, like, things now. There was one time everybody wanted McDonald's, and I forgot. He, I don't remember if he liked it special. Like, he always wanted, ordered number 10 with a large Coke. And it was, like, the cheeseburger, like, meal, like, large, whatever. But I didn't remember one time if... He had liked, um, anything not, like, no pickles, no onion, whatever. So, for him, I got every condiment, like, ketchup, mustard, onion, pickle, anything. I had every fucking little thing in a little container so he could do what he needed. And everybody saw this, you know, like, everybody, I I called, and then I called one time, and 
Um, I was like, oh, it's going to bring him a coffee. And the guy was like, don't do it. He's like, you know, he's don't just don't just don't talk to him anymore. And I was like, huh, that's weird. Um, but I still did. <laughs> and I found out later why I shouldn't have. But it, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that, you know, there's so many different options that your friends and family that love you and care about you and want the best for you would say rather than, oh, yeah, this is what you should do. Make her chase you and stay addicted to you by not talking to her. But if you want to be with this person, why would you ignore them? They're going to fucking leave. That makes no sense. So if you want to be with this person, why would you ignore them? Because if they have a backbone, if they have their shit together, they're going to walk the fuck away eventually. And I did. Because he was putting together this fucking thing. And so I'm like, you knew I had that. Why didn't you help me with that? Like, that's fucking huge. And I said something to you about it. But I let you not do it because you... He's not even working like he was before, but it doesn't matter. Like, he still works. And I would, if he was my man or whatever, like, I would cater to him, but not in a way where he could take advantage of me. But, like, that turns me on to be able to take care of a man, especially in the bed. And I'll get to that in a little bit. Oh, God, I fucking hate that. Um... <laughs> so uh, I understand what made me stay for so long too cause like but no that's not that's not true it's funny cause every time it's been 16 minutes it's been 16 minutes and 42 seconds or it'd be 44 seconds when I look at it but like my number for him that represents him is 642 um cause of his phone number but anyways so um yeah, he'd always be able to get me back with sex. Every time. Every time. But it doesn't work anymore. And I walked away. Like, the whole, like, ignoring me thing is actually what pushed me away. But he doesn't know anything else. And if you're asking for advice, these people are going to be like, no, just keep doing it. She did it before. She'll do it again. Like, if she loves you, she'll... St I fucking am in love with you beyond max, but I am detached as shit. And I need to walk away from my own health. Mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. <laughs> you know? Um, and if he's not going to ever do the work and ever change and ever not listen to other people and make his own decisions, then not... I'm not... Wait, no, 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 no. So anyways, I always just say it all the time. You work 12-hour days, and it takes you an hour back and forth. So that's 13 hours that you're pretty much working or doing something, running around, whatever. Slow the fuck down and go take care of yourself and your needs. And you have cancer. Like, why is nobody seeing this? Like, and, it, like, if all this is true, because honestly, like, I don't even know the truth by at this point. But it's like if you're having seizures and nobody's there for you and you think your family's going to be there for you, but they haven't any time. And then I wasn't hearing from him. This is like Labor, Labor Day weekend. And I know for a reason. I don't hear from this him, my person, for a long time. Um, well, since the last time we had whatever. And he did the same thing. He runs away after he has sex, but it's also a dismissive avoidant thing. And I get that, but it's still not okay. And it's not an excuse, but it's also a tactic. She loves sex. She, she loves sex. She loves having sex with me. She can't, like, she gets addicted when I fuck her. He doesn't, no, make love to her, fuck her, have, it's like a mix. But anyways, um, it's not just fucking, um, but I don't know what else to like kind of call it because it's. Make love and fucking love, fuck, loveking, love, love, fucking. I don't know. V -v 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 
It's a mix, okay? Like, I love him. He loves me. We're not just... But these people... And the thing is that they don't understand. Because I know... I know my person. And I know that he can fucking walk away with anybody. And he doesn't fucking care. And it doesn't bother him. But he can't with me. And it's like when we both... And I don't mean that in a like a ha-ha way. It's just like kind of like, like you can't with me. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't hate him. I love him to death, but I can't do these games. And if you're going to listen to your fucking family and friends over yourself, because you know the fucking truth of who I am and our fights and who it really is and why we fight and what, but you tell them lies. So it makes it look like you're good. And then when you ask for their advice, they're going to go by what you told them, which makes it look like I'm toxic and you should stay away from me. So you do. And that whole thing happens. Remember in the beginning, she still chased you because you weren't talked to her. Yeah, not because I was needy and addicted to you. I mean, the sex was a high and that fucked with my head. But it wasn't the way that I think he thought it was because I've never been needy over a guy. It's always been something that made it look like I was because I needed to needy as in like clingy that's what I mean I mean um but there was information that I needed to know and I wanted to know and it was pissing me off and he, and then I just got to this point where I was like why the fuck do I care I don't fucking care so that I dropped then something else happened and then I dropped that and that was in March of this year I dropped that but it's like I don't even know if that's ever going to come out. That one's big. I don't care about anything that happened in the past. I only care about the things that are going on now. But, so, tell me why. Tell me why. This is the thing. When my friends have something good happen to them, like, my, I call her my sister-in-law because it's just easier, but she's not. She's, I'm not with her brother anymore, who's my son's father. Um, but she's still my sister. I don't give a fuck. Like, she's been, I love her. Um, but my sister-in-law, her due date for having my, um, my niece was, oh, that sounds like you, was yesterday. So, you know, like, I'm calling her or messaging her, and I'm like, so what you doing? She's like, I'm fucking working. I'm not dilating. Nothing's happening. You know, it's probably going to be next week. Her birthday is the 17th. My dog that I had to put down was the 19th. My cousin today is the 14th and, um, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up and whatever. So we'll see. But <clears throat> it's just like, I was crying because I was like, do you have a baby picture of how big you are in your tummy? So she sent me like when she found out at nine weeks and then she showed me herself now. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm crying right now. I'm so happy for you. That's how you should act when you love a person and you want them to be happy and you want them to be successful. I saw what the fuck she went through to get where she is now. I saw that. It was not easy for her, but she fucking deserves it. She deserves it. And I'm so happy for her. Her husband is, her husband is amazing. I mean, I love him. Not because I like that. Like, I love him for her. He's good to Dawson. He's a better father figure for Dawson, our son. Like, I'm so happy for her. I'm sorry, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm even typing, like, I'm crying right now. But, like, every person that I've come across, they have not been very loving and now they are. So she was like a certain type of way when I met her. And she's opened up to me in so many ways. It's just, uh, it's awesome. It's amazing. Like, because I know it's because of me. It, I know it. Um, hold on. Mm. 